So plugins are going to take ChatGPT to the next level. And specifically in different categories like SEO or generating prompts in Midjourney or any other AI app. This really does up the game and take ChatGPT to the next level that you can do almost anything with. So today I have to show you one that has been crazy helpful in generating amazing photorealistic AI art. And in this case, the prompt is called photorealistic. So we're going over here on ChatGPT. Two things to keep in mind again, make sure you're on ChatGPT4 and make sure you have plugins activated. The plugin we're using today is going to be called photorealistic. And that's exactly what this prompt does. It's gonna generate and create photorealistic prompts for Midjourney. This prompt works for other AI apps like Leonardo AI. Okay, so first off, say you have something in mind, something in your head that you wanna create, and you might not have the words to do just that. If you're like me, I have the idea painted in my head. I'm a visual learner and I know exactly what I wanna create, but how exactly do I translate what's in my head to text so I can tell these AI apps or Midjourney exactly what to make. That's where this app comes in and has been conveniently helpful to help me generate some really amazing prompts. Say you have something in mind, like a cute bunny Aww. that you want to hold in your hand. So I have what I want to use in my head. I know in my head I have a cute bunny that I'm holding. Now, let this plugin do the rest of the work for you. Back over here on ChatGPT, you're simply just gonna type in what you want. Now the magic of these plugins is that you don't even have to say activate this plugin. It just automatically knows what you're looking for. So watch this. In this case, I just typed in at the bottom of my screen, tiny, fluffy, mini bunny being held adorable. Now I know I can put that prompt into Midjourney itself and Midjourney is so amazing that it will create this for me. However, I do want some extra help because maybe I'm missing out on some key terms like 8K or UHD, but let's just see what this generates for me. As soon as I enter that prompt in, you could see that it says used photorealistic and it's gonna give you not one, but a few prompts to choose from. Now look at this prompt number one. It takes my tiny fluffy mini bunny being held adorable and creates this nice paragraph size prompt for me that's gonna look amazing in Midjourney. We'll also try it in Leonardo AI as well. Let's copy and paste the first prompt. <laughs> oh my gosh, look what Midjourney made for me. Look how adorable these bunnies are. It gives me four images and it is that tiny fluffy mini bunny being held in my hand. This is hyper realistic and I can't tell real from not real. Great job Midjourney. Look at the one it made for me in Leonardo AI. This is very cute. Now I have to remember, I have to use the negative prompt. I have to turn negative prompt on because the one on the right's cute, but I don't want a bunny with two heads but the one on the left is nice. Now, changing up my model, look at these. <laughs> these are very cute as well. And look at this. Here is Leonardo AI. These are great bunny pictures. Oh my gosh, it's a bunny in a blanket. How cute, you can't beat that. Now we can do the same thing and go over to Adobe Firefly and they did well too. Midjourney hit it right on the head. Next, we're gonna try a close-up of an AI robot in the future. Again, you could see that photorealistic plugin, it detects what I want. It activates the photorealistic plugin and then it starts to go to work with prompt number one. So now check this out. This is what I mean. I can simply go into Midjourney and I can type in a close up of an AI robot in the future and Midjourney will create that for me. But you might be missing out on a lot of things. I would have never imagined to add some specific keywords here. For example, the style should be reminiscent of futuristic and sci fi movies with a touch of realism. I mean, perfect. I might have that image painted specifically just like that in my head, but I would never have known how to translate that on text to get Midjourney to create exactly what I'm looking for. So that's what I mean, where like, if I'm just a straight visual person, I know in my head what I want created. However, I don't know how to transcribe that and make it appear this way visually. This is a very important sentence, I believe. The lighting should be bright and sharp, emphasizing the metallic and glossy surfaces of the robot. Again, so let's take this first one and let's copy and paste them all and see what happens. Now, let's go over to Leonardo AI. Check this out. Here's the prompt I made. And uh, these Leonardo humanoid futuristic AI robots look phenomenal. I even like the realistic sky blue color of the robot's eyes. Now over here in Midjourney, here's what Midjourney made for me. Look at these four images, extremely realistic. The glossy, the shimmer, the lighting, it's perfectly how I visualize this in my head. And then we can go back over to Adobe Firefly. This is good too, not as good as the other two, but nonetheless, very good looking images. But I would go with Midjourney here and also Leonardo AI. So what's really cool about this is that you can utilize two different apps, 
but get two different set of results. We can even make this a lot more impressive by adding a few more adjectives and adding some scenic type prompts. Now watch this, award-winning photography of the most beautiful tropical beach 8K. This tropical beach is extremely photorealistic, makes me want to jump right into the water and go for a swim. Hand clap on this one right here. Here is the other set we asked Midjourney to make, the second set of the ultra-realistic beach, and this one did a very good job as well. Okay, now let's go back to one last prompt, the one that's a common question I get all the time, and that's going to be generating some very eye-catching logos, which the logo category is very popular, but I think this one pretty much nailed it. So I have a few options I'm going to show you guys. The first one I'm going to put down, an innovative futuristic logo of a rocket taking off. Here are my rocket logos that Midjourney made for me. Very good as well. Here is the second set it made for me. So another prompt I moved on to next was an innovative futuristic logo of the infinity symbol. This one's pretty good too. Let's go back, and then I asked it to do another one for the letter M. This one is extremely impressive. So utilizing the plugin Photorealistic, I just said create a logo, futuristic, innovative, with the letter M. It gave me some really good looking logos with the letter M. That's the first set it made. And then here is a second set it made for me. The same thing, logo, innovative, futuristic, with the letter M. And so the last one I asked it was an innovative, futuristic logo for an AI company. And just by simply saying that, Here's the four it came up with. Again, pretty good too. I like all of them, all different, all unique, but all photorealistic and very impressive. So again, I think these plugins are going to be game changing for ChatGPT. Not only this one, but the more and more they come out with, develop and release, plugins are going to make things so much easier, specifically for the creative process, SEO process, and a lot more other things. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. I'm